Hello, my name is Jake Rohr, and today's video is part of a series demonstrating the value proposition of Whipfly's Shop Floor Optics solution. In this segment, we will be discussing a business use case through the lens of an employee working in internal service and support. Employees in this department are tasked with keeping machines operating and minimizing downtime due to equipment-related failures. Machine Metrics software has an out-of-the-box ability to record the frequency and impact of machine errors. The software can visualize these errors over the course of a user-defined timeline, allowing individuals to quickly pick up on trends. From this video, you will gain an understanding of how an employee in the service department can leverage this software to 1. Identify machine downtime patterns, 2. Quantify financial impacts of machine downtime, 3. Prioritize improvement efforts, and 4. Justify changes to production patterns for the benefit of machine health and employee productivity. To begin, we're going to start on the Alarms Dashboard, a location where all alarm frequencies and impacts are summarized. An alarm record is created when an equipment error is encountered and prevents the machine from operating. This list of alarms contains three important pieces of information that are calculated based on user-defined dates. First, the events column represents the number of incidences of this alarm. The second column, assets, is the number of machines that the error has been recognized on. And then the third column, duration, is the amount of downtime caused by this failure across all of the affected machines. To direct improvement efforts, a good place to start is analyzing an alarm that has numerous events impacts several assets, and has caused significant downtime. For our example today, we will be analyzing the bar feeder emergency stop error because it meets set all of the criteria listed. It has 1,340 events in the past month. It is impacting 11 assets and has caused 116 hours of downtime over the course of the month. On this page, the Events tab displays the scale of the bar feeder emergency stop alarm and the number of incidences by day over the past month. If we select the Duration tab, we can see a similar pattern of impact. It is clear that this bar feeder issue is causing a consistent and considerable impact on a daily basis. Scrolling down on the screen shows a list of assets impacted by this error. CNC 119 has encountered 212 bar feeder alarms that have led to over 15 hours of downtime in the past month. By selecting the ellipses and clicking on overview, we can get a better picture of the asset's performance. Now that we've identified a high impact error and an incident location to analyze further, let's attempt to quantify the impact of the alarm. We're now going to switch to an alternate interface to break down the timeline of these bar feeder issues on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's take a look at CNC 119, the machine we've been looking at, and select the Timeline button. The Timeline screen visualizes the historical uptime and operation intervals of a particular machine. On the Operations timeline, green represents the time that the asset was in cycle. The blue represents the time that the asset was not in operation. At the top of the timeline are patches of red. This represents the amount of time that a machine was down with an error. We can see that when there's a red patch, there's also a corresponding blue patch in the timeline. The timeline for CNC 119 shows an error occurrence every two hours for a few minutes at a time due to the bar feeder error. Already, we can see a pattern of downtime and therefore we should be able to anticipate the error's occurrence. Clicking on the Cycles tab shows us the table of machine cycles. For this machine, CNC 119, the expected cycle time is 1 minute and 5 seconds. However, it looks like we're averaging 1 minute and 12 seconds per cycle. Let's now quantify the production loss of the error by dividing the equipment downtime by the average cycle time. If we divide the amount of machine downtime due to bar feeder error, 14 minutes and 30 seconds, by the average cycle time, 1 minute and 12 seconds, the math shows that we are losing 
12.08 units worth of production on CNC 119 due to this error every single day. Therefore, we are losing out on 60 units of production per week and about 3,120 units every year. Multiply these lost units by revenue or profit per piece to determine the revenue generating impact of this lost production. Lastly, if we remember from the previous screen, this bar feeder error impacted 11 different assets over the past month. Lessons learned on solving the bar feeder error on CNC 119 will likely be applicable to solving the issue on the other assets. Overall, we've accomplished the following. Identify a high visibility, high impact error. We've detected a pattern of errors in order to anticipate future downtime. And we've quantified the financial impacts of the downtime due to the specific error. Shopfloor Optics is a robust solution that gives your organization the ability to reap tremendous financial and operational benefits. What benefits could your service department achieve with advanced downtime reporting? If interested in more information, please reach out to Mark Stevens with any questions or to schedule a complimentary discovery event at your plant.